Rock afternoon guy, Gary Guida. It's another edition of Gabbing with Guida. Welcome to Light Rock Studios. I can't believe it's June already. So many topics that were just discussed this week on my afternoon show. First it was Elton, then it was Celine, then it was Britney Spears and Jennifer Lopez. Now where it is, according to Wonderwall.com, Justin Timberlake is on the verge of getting a Las Vegas residency. He wants to spend more time with his family since he just became a dad. And he's now in negotiations to play at Monte Carlo's new renovation a theater it'll seat 5,000 and as soon as we get information on tickets for Justin Timberlake's residency show in Las Vegas we'll let you know from Justin Timberlake we go to Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton rumors are rampant according to us weekly they want to take the next step that's engagement and then babies Gwen has three kids with her ex Gavin Rossdale and Blake Shelton has dreamed the fatherhood when Gwen heard about this according to Fox News she said no way it's just rumors we're just taking it one step at a time so we'll let you know uh, what's going on with Gwen Stefani and Blake Shelton from those two guys we go to Taylor Swift according to Forbes.com she was the youngest on Forbes list of America's richest self-made women she came in at number 60 on the list making 250 million dollars Madonna was I have my list right here in front of me number 25 at 560 million Celine number 37 380 million number one was Diane Hendricks who the heck is Diane Hendricks, you're wondering? She made $3.1 billion. She's a co-founder of a roofing company in Wisconsin. So she's sitting pretty with lots of roofs in Wisconsin and close to $3.1 billion in net worth. From Taylor and Madonna making Forbes list and making a lot of money, we go to summertime memories. I mentioned earlier that I can't believe it's June. And right now I did a blog at lightrock969.com. Some of my favorite summertime memories were spent as a kid in Wildwood with my friends. We would get in the car, hop on the parkway, cram as many as we could into one room, and then walk the Wildwood boardwalks until dawn. Always, It was always a lot of fun. And right now at lightrock969.com, you can see a blog that I did about Wildwood and check out a flashback video from the summer of 1974. And you can also let us know your favorite summertime memories at the Jersey Shore. All the info, the blog is there at lightrock969.com. That'll wrap up another edition of Gabby with the G-Man. We'll see you next time.